Ari was a freaking animal out there just dealing with the wind. He go have like dinner for the next week. <laughs> Guys, what is up? You are seeing my face in 4K on my new camera. This just came in just in time for Spencer's four mile time trial tomorrow and I am doing a pace job. I'm just planning on a very hard four mile effort at around 445 pace, trying to bring him through to sub 19 for four miles. Good morning, it's Friday. Um, this is gonna be one of my hardest workouts in a while. We're leaving here a little before 11, so in the meantime, I've got work to do. And then, big announcement here is, I've got 4K hours of watch time, which means that soon I can start to monetize. Um, put ads on my videos and start making money. Um, sick. There he is. Race day, baby. How we uh, how we feeling? Feeling good, apparently. Feeling loose in the hips. How does Spencer look on my new camera? Shoot your thoughts down in the comments. I think he's looking uh, a little bit more cut than usual. As always, putting down a Kodiak cake. Yeah, as someone who's good at everything, I'm really good at chewing my food before I swallow. On a work meeting, you know how it is. Obviously, I'm just going to pump my body full of caffeine. Second spro of the day. I'm thinking I'm gonna put down three before we leave. Spro number three. Really, I'm just looking for a hard tempo effort. Uh, I don't really have any specific goals, um, but if I can take Spencer all the way through four miles, that would be phenomenal. That would be a phenomenal day. I'm just looking to run hard. It's been a while since I felt healthy enough and my body has felt ready to go on the track and just run really hard. So I'm just excited to, to push my body for the first time in months. Just wanna go out there and run hard. And uh, if I do that, I think it'll be a good day. Make sure you're communicating if you're making moves. Okay, your marks, set, go. Oh. 220 for the front group. 222 guys. 444, 445. Guys are doing good. All right, nice job, Spencer and Ari. 7, 1151. 71, 71 high, nice work guys. All right, there we go, that's three miles. 14, 14.
Nice work, Spencer. 18.55. Nice job. Spencer and I just got back and uh, I am gearing up for this bike workout. Spro and, and PB Toast, just getting what I need to uh, get through this second workout of the day. But um, just thinking about that four mile tempo, it really, like I'm, I'm almost disappointed at how easy it was because I kind of had my head set on like going really hard today and I got through the goal, the goal of 19 flat, like just, I mean, my second fastest tempo ever was 19.12 last spring, right before I, I time trialed a 401 mile. And that was that was very hard. I remember that just feeling like, you know, I was grinding to get through it, but it was still it was still in that tempo range, but this was even easier. So uh, I'm definitely really, really aerobically fit, happy with where things are. And it's just every time I have a, a, a good running workout, it brings me back to the fact that Biking is is doing things for me that just straight running mileage has never been able to do. I'm, I've never quite felt like this before. It, it's almost like renewed motivation every time I have a good running workout to go crush it on the bike. It, it just never feels like a chore and it never just feels like cross training. So I'm really excited to go to get, knock this one out. Yeah, for now, just gotta put down this spro and, uh, and toast and get her done. Living the dream, baby. The dream. Let me just adjust. Okay. Uh, all right, I'm halfway through this workout. It's two times three by four minutes at 365 watts, which is about 114% of my threshold, followed by two minutes rest, which is half of what I'm used to, especially after the workout this morning, which was first hard running workout in a long time. I'm feeling it. What are you gonna do? You gotta get the work in. Ryan doesn't stop. Break time. Unresponsive. He is deep. He is deep in the pain cave right now. Heart rate is still 165. Coming down. I really didn't think that tempo put me here. This is the hardest work I've ever done on the bike. He's working all day, it's tough, but we'll get through this. That last rep will take care of itself. 
I just need to get through this fifth one. Last one before the last one. Exactly. That's the way you gotta think about it. Yep. No one's gonna out on the last rep. We'll put Martin Garrix back in, hopefully. All right. He can get me through this. If anyone can, it's him. Say, what a fucking day of exercise. I'm fresh off the bike, got the recovery shake here. That was one of the biggest days of just workouts that I've ever had um, in terms of volume and in terms of execution. I said beforehand that uh, if I got through four miles at 19 flat, um, that would be great. And I was really expecting to have the go very close to the well and I, I didn't even get close. <clears throat> you know, I, I brought Spencer through 15 laps and, and just said, all right, let's just run the same pace, bring it home, and that's a great day. Uh, and that's what it was, 19 flat for four miles. I mean, that really makes me think that I, I can get close to that pipe dream of, of 1325 in the 5K. This outdoor season and, and qualify for the Olympic trials sort of six or eight weeks ago, I thought, um, you know, it's probably not gonna happen this year. I, I missed too much time. Um, and, and I felt that things would just really have to go perfectly for me to get there. But now, just after this morning, that's like, that was great. Being able to come home after that and, and put myself in the pain cave uh, for another bike workout, that was tough, but I love it. Uh, and there's nothing else I would rather do. Really, really big day of exercise. Obviously got to make sure I recover. Uh, new camera, which is really exciting. And I'm just, I'm really happy with the way my fitness is coming along and the way my body's been feeling. And uh, I love that this whole journey of adding in the bike um, has coincided with the start of my YouTube channel. So you guys are, are seeing firsthand uh, you know, in real time, how the biking is affecting my running, and it's well, it's obviously not hurting me. You know, I don't know if that's the sole reason that my fitness is where it is right now, but I still have a long, long way to go. And uh, you know, I've put together a really, really good six to eight weeks of running and biking, but that's not enough. I just need to keep stringing together these weeks for months on end. Uh, that's it for today guys. As always, thank you for watching. I, I really appreciate the way that this channel is growing and, and the way that you guys are sharing everything in the comments. Uh, so again, dude, comment down below whatever your thoughts were or questions. Uh, I love going through and responding. Stay tuned. We're going to take this thing to the top.